and getting it, uh, gonna get it bonded up. Lance Mackey spent decades working on giant jets at nice. Boeing. Nice, it looks good. But now he says he's riding the wave of the future, electric flight. It was just an opportunity to, to make something so futuristic, change the world. I mean, the path forward is just something amazing. It's small for now, but aviation has big plans. The company that started in Israel moved to Arlington. And we intend for it to be an OEM that makes its products here, delivers its products from Arlington, Washington. Omer Bar Yohai is CEO and founder. And this week, aviation scored big, winning a contract to build a dozen of these all electric planes for global package giant DHL. And they will replace an existing small feeder aircraft that we have that's using obviously an engine. Mike Para heads DHL for the Americas, and all electric fits in with the company's plans to drastically cut carbon emissions. And it sends a strong message around what we're saying in this space of sustainability. And there's another big local piece of this. Don't call this an engine. This is the motor. Engines, uh, engines eat up fuel and create emissions, and they're dirty. Motors are clean and quiet. Roy Ganzarski heads a sister company in Everett, Magni. For 18 months, the motors have been powering test airplanes like this Cessna Caravan. But those motors depend on big lithium-ion batteries. The battery goes here. In fact, it wraps all the way around the bottom of the airplane. But batteries are heavy. This one weighs 8,000 pounds. That is literally half the weight of this airplane loaded. This plane can fly 440 nautical miles on a charge, can hold more than a ton of cargo, and bigger electric planes will come. These are exactly the problems that we and other companies right now are working to solve. In Arlington, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.